Hello, welcome. It's time for a new hold. So continuing along the Smite Master Selection series, uh, I finished Perfection and Beether's Teacher. The next one up is Master Locks. I talked about this at the end of Beether's Teacher, and there are two versions of this hold. There's the normal one and the expert version. I've decided to do the normal one first. It has a slightly higher fun rating, and people have told me it's the normal ones are more fun. I'll probably do this someday, but I'm going with this one first. Beethro explores Neth kept Armanent on his way to Rooted Hold and uncovers some history. So we visited the Perfectionist Complex and Neth kept Eminent. Now Neth kept Armanent is up next. This is by Larry Merck. I expect a good time. Let's do it. It gets a little lonely on the high path. But at least I managed to ditch Denfrey, so we don't have to deal with his nonsense anymore. Oh, no, no dialogue for going back this time. You know, walking this road for months and months makes you a little crazy at first. Then you get used to it. Learn to ignore all those crazy halusa whatnots. <laughs> Piles of gold and diamonds, dancing girls, not real. Voices telling Just you. Just things my poor suffering head dreams up to keep me company. Voice is telling you it's a good thing you have us for company. Plates of steaming food, a warm fireplace, friendly people waving at me. Nope, none of it's real. I'm walking down the high path. Man, he has really lost it. There's nothing but big old black pits of nothing here. And those dancing girls, of course. Hey, baby, head over this way. <laughs> Don't be floating so far away from me. No, no, don't go fading out on me. No, oh, Peter is lonely. Blech. They're my hallucinations. I ought to be able to make them do what I want. That's not how it works, Peter. Hey, something ahead. Don't think it's my neth dreaming this time. Neth dreaming. Oh! I conquered a level! Awesome! The Master Lock. Beether enters a great building that sits atop the high path. Straight to the point. Whoa! Custom floor! What on earth? One, two, three. I've heard this hold is kind of short. I don't know how short. Maybe it has just three levels? I don't know. Hi. Hey, buddy. This place rooted hold? Hardly. You're at the entrance of Neth. Kept Armanont. I can tell you a lot about Neth Kept Armanont. For example, it was the original seat of power for First Watcher, before Lowest Point was formed. This was way back in the pre-modern cycle, of course, some time after... Fine, fine. I want to get to Rooted Hold. Well, you're close. You just follow the hay path about ten miles further, and it's right there. A big, sprawling, looming thing. You really can't miss it. But I did follow the high path. It just dumped me into this joint. Right. The high path keeps going on the other side of that blue door. Okay, so I need to clear out a few monsters on this level, and then I'm on my way, right? Something like that. Ah, I see. There's some really big mess of trouble I gotta sort through. Yes, that's more like it. Could you tell me what I gotta do? Not really. As you say, it's a big mess of trouble. But the gist of it, I suppose, is that you need to solve the three locks and acquire the final master key. Once you've done that, then it's really easy to go on through to the high path. But it's really hard to figure out these keys and locks, right? Well, for most people, sure. Uh, you seem fairly bright, though. Now you're being sarcastic. <laughs> yes, but good luck anyhow. So ten miles, that's not even a day's walk. Beether can be there soon, once he figures this out. Diary First Watch, Ooh. Entry 1. I've always thought it would be nice to have a diary, some place to keep my secret, private thoughts that nobody else can see. Just me. The only thing is that, when I'm writing, it's really hard to find the real me voice, you know? Who am I actually writing for? If I were writing for other people, I wouldn't be so open about everything. If I were writing for myself, I wouldn't write things that are obvious to me. 
And can I really conquer that self-consciousness that always seems to creep in? Plus, I always hated the word diary. It sounds like something a little girl would write. And I am an important man, after all. The founder of a new civilization. Do great men keep a diary? Diary of first watcher. It just sounds silly, you know? Why do I add you know to the ends of sentences? It implies I'm talking to someone else. But this diary is only for me to read, you know? There! I did it again. <laughs> diary writing is hard. So that is not the you voice, that is not Jabodli's face or voice. But those things were not established back when this was made. After unlocking the three master locks, take this passage to the master key. How about if I take it now? Okay. Apparently one of them dumps me out here somehow, or this brain just dies on its own somehow, or something? Okay. Hmm. All right, anything else to see here? Rocky ground, grassy ground, other rocky ground. I guess this is road, I think. Yeah, road, grass, alternate floor, or dirt floor, rather. Okay, dirt, grass, road. Cool. Dirt. This is the first lock. <laughs> really straight to the point. Big rectangular rooms and passages. Journal of First Watcher, Entry 1. I've decided that my last entry wasn't very good, so I'm starting over with a new entry. First off, this is a journal and not a diary. There's a big difference. In a diary, you write about all your self-doubts and feelings and what your favorite color is. Little girl nonsense like that. In a journal, it's more serious, you know? Journals are for keeping important records of your life. And it might be historical later on. Well, I don't know what's going to be historical, I guess. But I imagine lots of these important insights and decisions I have might end up in books later. After I'm dead, I'll hand over my journal to somebody that can figure out what's historical and what's not. I mean, it's not like I can tell right now what the good parts are going to be. But certainly this entry will be pretty high up there on the list. After all, it's the very first entry in my journal. People are going to want to read that. You know, thinking about it, remembering what Jabodli sounded like in Cotton and Eddie, that could totally be an older Jabodli. Yeah, that's believable. Jabodli is first watcher for anyone who is not uh, following this story very closely. Serpent. Roach. Orb. Uh, okay. Bomb. Okay, that lets you out. Okay, sure. I feel like I might want something like that. Ooh. Serpent threatening me very closely. Hmm. Well, I can't go in there. Um, I don't have time to do that. Okay. I could go over here, but that wouldn't do me any good. Uh, let's see. Perhaps this is what I want. Mm -hmm, that works. Uh, oh, I need to time this. One, two, ooh. Also custom floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then a bunch. One, two, three, four. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's just do it. Uh, serpent's gotta die somehow, though. This is a bad plan. I need both roaches to shorten the serpent. Okay. Fine then. Uh, turn order. Roaches first. How can I make this work? Not like that. Not like that. If only this roach shortens it, can that... Well, no, that can't work. Uh, roach can't really ride it over... No. Uh, maybe Serpent needs to be closer. If Roach moves first, Serpent... No. No. If I can get my sword another way... 
then that might be better. All right, well, what about this? That works. Sure, and you will blow up. Great. Uh, problem is, if I do that... Uh, no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. I don't have to go north of here. Just gotta time this with the serpent. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if Roach is first, then Serpent Head needs to be trying to land there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Like this. Serpent dead. Roach is dead. Room clear. Cool. I'm going to go the wrong way. Take that room. I went the wrong way. <laughs> this is structured so weirdly. Trapped our gate. Alternate floor. Rattlesnakes. Okay. So everything has to die after I open that. Long rattlesnake goes here like this. Short rattlesnake goes here like this. Okay. No problem. I've done this many times already. That's one. And that's not two because you are not quite as cooperative as I needed you to be. Uh, to make that work, maybe I can do something like this. How's that? Nope. Still vertical. Alright, so get yourself on another cycle. Please don't shorten like that. Come back, come back. Uh, now you're good. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, let's see. How's timing? Uh, this might work out. Yes, good. Okay, great. Done. Cool. I was not very efficient about that one. Oh, then I guess that's the end of the road here. Okay. Uh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh, who's first? Roach is first. That's a problem. Okay, so is this... <laughs> this feels an awful lot like a turn order puzzle. Oh, wait. There's this here. So... Wait a second. Uh, okay, yeah, I think my initial thought is Roach needs to go here and escort both the Mud Baby and Tar Baby... Well, Mud Baby up uh, Tar Baby up, and then Roach itself goes there. Alright, uh, so with that turn order, if the Roach is moving first, then I need to do, th oh, then I need to do the, uh, I need to do, what? Oh, no, wait, right, Ro Roach moves first, so that makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yep. All I need to know is that the Roach moves before the other two. Their relative movement orders don't matter. Okay, done. Cool. For some reason, I thought there might be a scripted event or something there, but no. Fourth place die, exit level. Well, that was quick and easy. Oh, wait. There may be more. Four tumblers. Hold on a second. Return from lock one. Wow, these are not... <laughs> Story is not told in that way, in this hold. Okay, tumbler one. No, four, sorry. Four tumblers is what it says. I'm in lock one. Uh, what? What do you want? I guess just kill everything. Um, how? Well, 
What the heck is going on? Alright, so things I have access to. I have a serpent control mechanism of sorts here. I can use that to alter their way to second. No, that's just a close. That doesn't reopen. It opens those. Okay, so I'm not going to do those for a while. Uh, serpents will turn themselves around. I can't really do much to affect how they do that. If a tar baby were to ride this serpent over... Uh, yes, you could ride it all the way over to... Well, it's going to have to be here. Which means I already need to have done that. I can't really go this... Well, what? Alright, well, let's try this. Uh, where can I park some... Oh, wait. If I ride the North Serpent to just the right place, then ride the South Serpent into here... Yeah, I can park one tar baby here, one here, one here, and one here. Then after I use this, be able to get at all of them. Sure. All right. Hitch a ride. Uh, move order is not like that, and even if it were, serpent would have died. All right, so serpents are later than tar babies. Oops. Right. <laughs> like this. All right, you are positioned. Next one catches a ride. Let's see, I want this, right? Yeah, ride the tail. Okay. Uh, gotta ride both. Interesting. Interesting. How will this work? Well, let me try this. Can't quite... I can make that work. Good. Okay, now same thing in other direction. It is interesting how those are color-coded the same way as... Well, so are these. <laughs> this area and this area is, like, color-coded as don't go here. Um, let's see, I need to ride you to the east. Wait, not that far. More like this. Great. Done. Alright, so close those. Open this. Kill those. And everything's great. Cool. Lock done. Master lock one. Oh. That just dumps me here. Okay. This hold is structured super weirdly. Like, this is not at all what I expected. Okay. Well, that's fine. One done. Uh... Okay, this is where I came in. There are four passages out of this. That's, that's an inn. Okay, so to get to that scroll, I have to come around that way somehow. The other two of these... Right, okay, sure. Grass and road. Grass and road. Mm-hmm. Great. Ah. Haven't solved that master key yet, eh? No, but I will. That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be on the extremely short side, so sorry about that, but that is uh, too clean a boundary to pass up. I'm going to stop here uh, with the first lock salt and go on to number two next time and see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I think, I think at least for this hold, I will keep the short daily format that I was using for Bethro's Teacher. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I am... After this episode, I'm out of town for a week, but I'm recording pretty far ahead so that I'll be able to hopefully keep up an uninterrupted schedule. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be able to pull that off. All right, so I will see you next time for lock number two.